Well, welcome back to the channels guys this is another places to visit <clears throat> unless you're somewhere you've never ever thought of perhaps seen it as you drive past and never have thought of this as being a place to walk <clears throat> well, people from all over the world come to this spot on this walk So it's world, absolutely world renowned. It, it's the viaduct, Twemelo, if I pronounce that right. Over 11 million bricks to make the uh, viaduct. And it's world famous. I'll explain why in a minute. The walk is by the River Dane, beautiful River Dane. And the brickwork on this is unbelievable we do have lots of cows and they don't seem to be bothering me as yet the reason it's famous and people come from all over the world you might spot by the uh, names all over the walls, everywhere all over the world people come to this spot and that gives it away, that brick up there it's near Holmes Chapel which is where Harry Styles lived so there's a Harry Styles tour where you can view his where he worked in the bakery, school on this very historic spot which is why there's hundreds and hundreds of uh, messages to him this is where he had his very first kiss and this is why people from all over the world come and visit and leave messages to Harry message from 2023, 2021 actual letters so if you actually go to the station they do have a map for the tour where you can view all the things that uh, he did and where he lived so the whole area is just covered in messages and even the cows seem to enjoy it <laughs> and it does go sort of all, all the way along this is supposed to be the actual spot where he had his first kiss mm. but we've now extended it further along and people are writing here, there and everywhere So that says it is a beautiful walk so let's explore the actual walk so having got past the Harry Styles bit we're in a big field and we've basically two ways to go we can go that way down to the river we can look at the uh, viaduct in all its glory and the cows and another path that leads to the woodlands so we'll head for the woodlands to start with for once it's not actually raining well the ground is sodden and you can probably hear the birds singing so it's good for wildlife around here You can bring your dog. It's a nice walk for the dog. Plenty of room. Not overcrowded as you can see. <laughs> well, I've got to the woodland and it's quite muddy and we do have an electric fence. 
and a little gap to squeeze through and obviously this is there to stop the cows going into the wood and it's as muddy as hell what if I can get past if you're overweight you might struggle to get through here but I did make it Ooh. so it's just the weather's not helped with all this mud so this is the actual wood and again you can see the, uh, the viaduct now it's in sort of two sections and where we are now is a public right of way and there's a fence all around the rest of the wood which is private, the bigger country estate and as long as we keep to the uh, public footpath we're okay probably a little bit early but the uh, bluebells are starting to sh come through let me just make them out on camera It's a nice little walk and Jog would uh, enjoy plenty of sniffing to be done up here. I'm a bit higher in the wood and the sun's sort of making its way through and the bluebells are everywhere. I'm really in the middle of April you probably want beginning of May for full effect. Well, the whole area is covered in in bluebells. Obviously, a well-trodden path through the the middle. Well, it's only a short trip through the woods. We've got ponds, lakes, whatever you want to call them. And then we come through to the field and. You can actually carry on or go back, but you can see, hopefully, in the the distance. As we zoom in, Jodrell Bank. So we're so close to Jodrell Bank. So we'll go back through the woods and go and find the uh, path by the river. Which is a nice little wooded area. So it's just unfortunate with all the rain, it's really muddy at the moment, but uh, you can probably hear all the birds chittering, chattering. Just a view from the other direction of all the, uh, the bluebells. So it's usually sort of May, first two weeks in May you get most of them, but there's certainly uh, plenty about and the whole area when I've been before for Mr Google because they do the photos of Google Maps you do get a lot of quite rare butterflies because we're sort of out in the country and lots of flora and I've got quite a few uh, rare butterflies so we'll head now back to the River Dane if we can squeeze through this little gap again so we're now heading for the River Dane, the two other gentlemen in front of us and the uh, style is at Harry's style is in the corner so we'll go and negotiate that and uh, head for the river Well as you come off the uh, style it can be a bit of a challenge to get up there with all the mud so we'll see if we can get it without breaking our necks so we did make it out, out of the style just so plenty of uh, room here no sign of any cows or anything 
and the River Dane is just over there, so we're going to look at that. And now it's uh, the path near the Dane itself, and it's flowing quite uh, quite rapidly. It does get a bit drier here because the, you can see the ground's raised there and a bit lower so so we'll get a bit further down to the actual Dane itself there's some birds going <clears throat> Just coming onto the river where you can actually probably with a bit of negotiation actually get down to the river itself. Again, the problem is the uh, weather we've had. And we have got like a little beach here. You can see how clear the uh, the water is. It really is sort of a sandy beach. And obviously the river goes on that way. And you can see the bank, how high it is, and there's houses at the top of them, that bank, it's really, really deep. And again, we've got the garlicky flowers coming in. Well, we've just been talking to the locals because over there, I don't know how we can sell, see, it looks like probably wild garlic. We've just had a buzzard overhead and got the lowdown from the locals that the estate there has been taken over about two years ago and they are doing a lot of work on it. it was, millions and millions for the estate and he says look out for kingfishers because there's a lot of kingfishers down here but you've got to be quick <laughs> so we're just following the the river dane you can fish here but he wasn't sure whose license you need We can't walk all the walk, but to we'll give you a fair idea, because it now goes all the way over there, and that takes you back into Holmes Chapel, and you can go to the bakery and see where Harry was uh, a baker. Well, it is a massive walk, you need to look into it because you can actually start in Holmes Chapel. You can turn right and go towards sort of Nutsford Way. You can come across through the woods and you're heading towards Britain. So it's a massive, massive walk. <laughs> We're only giving you a small uh, sample of what, what it's like. I'm not presented it really at its best because of all this flipping mud, but 
on a nice summer's day, or even a spring day, <laughs> it's a lovely place. There's lots of kingfishers about, people keep telling me. I keep finding people uh, trying to catch the kingfisher diving. Plenty of flowers, plenty of wildlife, and plenty of uh, birds singing. And as soon as you say that, they shut up, but nevertheless. Oh, the top tip. Uh, I've just been talking to some of the locals to get the, the low down. And uh, always nice to listen to the locals. And the top tip was don't go over that style we had the problem with. If you come a bit further up, there's a gate here, and he said if it's closed, it does actually lift up, and it's a lot safer than trying to negotiate the uh, official style. So if you come when it's wet, I mean, probably on a nice dry day the style would be okay but if not there's a gate here so we'll try the gate Save. well the local did say you could lift this gate up but in the meantime farmers come along and locked it so I've had to climb over the gate but it's certainly a bit safer climbing over the gate than that style nice little stream here when they just stood here looking it's crystal clear water and we've even got, which disappeared, bees out. And of course as soon as you point a camera they disappear. And what we didn't manage to catch is any trains over this viaduct. As soon as you put the camera away or anything they'll come and give you a, a view of how big it is and no wonder it's 11 million plus bricks. Well, it is actually a heritage site it's so uh, historic, etc., that it's, it's now protected site. All the cows that were here before seem to have disappeared. I was just looking at the extent of Harry's uh, writings. That's one, two, three, four, five, at least five of the Well the train coming, I'm too close to see it, but we do have a if I can get it in focus an aircraft heading out to Manchester there. So the edge in the way up is uh, more and more people come again talking to locals the amount that go to the bakery so if you want you were a Harry fan you can get the proper tour guide and it takes you all around uh, Holmes Chapel or as Blaster Bates said Holmes Chapel all we have to do now is uh, negotiate the way out up the steep bank on the uh, public footpath and just catch a glimpse of a train and we're too close to really see it I'm just looking at the uh, tributes to Harry and can't quite I don't think you can quite see it but if we look through the tree I don't know if it shows up on camera We've got the other side somewhere and doing that as well. Harry, thank you for for saving my best friend something or other. People are bringing stones and tributes and God knows what. Lenny loves you 5 to 2024 so they're still coming on a regular basis big sign here on the uh, style leave America 
again 2024 some of the writing thank you for everything Harry love you Ellie and Alice Something down the bottom, I won't say it on the <laughs> I won't say it on the YouTube, but you can read it. Well, I came in on the... Just catch that train as it goes past. <coughs> the public footpath and... I've somehow got to get back up there. <coughs> Again, on a nice dry day. It probably wouldn't be a problem, but... Uh, when it's wet like this <coughs> it could be a bit of fun this good <coughs> I just walked up the road a bit to uh, like the border with Holmes Chapel and you can see the uh, ride up a bit better there's a bit of a rubbish dump here I don't know why that's there I haven't uh, I presume you could get in here and possibly park here, but it may be used by the farmer, but it does give a nice uh, view across the viaduct and across the fields we've just trudged. <clears throat> so it does explain how they're getting in here to uh, put Wheel of Harry on, the, uh, on this side. <laughs> What's quite amazing, we've just come over a little bridge and everywhere you go the signs, we love Harry and blah 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 Just see if we can get a video of that in a minute well, It is a very busy main road and the car's done a half belt down here There's a little bridge here over the uh, the River Dane and all we've got is messages to Harry Ellie plus Harry well these are 2024 dates as well I don't know if you can make it out on video, but some of these are actually scratched in to the actual bridge. Now that one's 2023. Thank you for everything. From Wembley. Louise, Birmingham Oh, Scotland <laughs> party, I don't know how Scotland got in on the action then, look Oh, the area's just covered with them <laughs> <laughs> 